Good morning all, it's Gav here from DancePlanet.tv and today I'm doing a video on Adrian Jackpot Lewis and the reason I'm doing this video is because there's been so many comments and people speaking about, especially on my video, about obviously Adrian's last, you know, how he's been over the last year or so and his performances compared to where he was a couple of years ago. So, you know, whether it's been on my videos about should he have a Premier League place, is he going to be in the top 16, is he defending a lot of money and is he going to be too much pressure, I thought the fairest way um, to do this would be to do a video on Adrian Lewis and actually look at the, the bigger picture as much because obviously we know that um, it's been well published that he's had a lot of uh, stuff going on in his personal life personal life he's had his operation so he's had loads and loads of stumbling blocks um, to get through but do you know what he's still carried on for me personally I think that Adrian Lewis is possibly one of the most natural darts players that, that the world's ever had. He's a natural on the hockey, he can hit 180s for fun, he's had loads of nine darts, and when he's on form, he is almost unbeatable. And I think personally that he will recapture that, but I just wanna bear in mind when we do this video, is just look at the bigger picture sometimes of what's going on, and that might be the reason behind some of his performances. So let's go through a few of his stats at the moment. Now these are the stats on the PDC website. So if they're wrong, don't me, it's I'm only going by what's on their website at you know as of now. So if we have a look, so at the moment his current PDC world ranking is number seven. He's won nine televised um, TV titles. 15 non-televised titles, and he's had five nine, uh, five nine dark finishes on TV. Now that in itself, you know, a lot of players over the space of uh, their whole career don't get anywhere near that. So obviously that shows us just how good a talent uh, Adrian Lewis is. So let's have a look at some of the stuff that he's won. I'm just gonna go down and look on the website here. So if we look at the television titles, he won the PDC World Championship in 2011 and 2012. He won the UK Open in 2014. He won the European Championship in 2013. He's won the World Cup of Darts in 2012, 13, 15 and 16. And he's won your Auckland Darts Masters in 2015. So if we look at that period from 2011 to 2016, the achievements of what Adrian Lewis has won is, is second to none. Do you know what I mean? A, a double world champion two years in a row, plus all these other majors, which, like I say, some people hardly win in their career. So we've also got some others down here. If we have a look at some of his um, recent ranking of event records, you can see them there. Um, it isn't as good because, obviously, uh, this is what this video is about. There, there is stuff going on. But what I want to ask ask you guys is, is where do you think Adrian Lewis is going to be after the World Championships having to defend that amount of money? Is he going to stay in the top 16? Is he going to drop out of the top 16? If he does drop out of the top 16 or doesn't have a good world, should Adrian Lewis still be in the Premier League coming up um, in February when it starts? I think it starts around February. Time. Should he be selected as a wild card? Or because of this, should somebody else be taking Adrian Lewis's place? Now, in front of me, I'm just having a look here. I put a tweet out this morning saying that I was going to be doing a video on Adrian Lewis today and where will he be ranked after the world. So I'm just going to run through a couple of the tweets that come back to me on this um, and share them with you guys and see what you think. So Chris Mason come back um, and he said that after the year that he's had off the hockey, I'm sure that most of us are just thrilled his plan and positive, which obviously, yep, you know, I think everybody can agree with that because a lot of people don't see what's going on behind the background. We're all very, we're all very quick to judge of, of other players. We don't actually look at what's going on. So there was a couple of other comments on that one as well. Um, another guy called Stephen BWS Cart. He said, "Spot on, mate. Um, he's got stuff going on to deal with, and it's heroic that he even get up and play sometimes." So some of the darts fans and players you know, do have a life away from darts, and I think that we 
we often forget that. So that was that one there. But if we now go on to this one, some of the other people that have come back um, and said we've got a Wilf Ansel that's come back and said he thinks um, that he has a lot of ranking money to defend, so it's going to be close, but it seems to me that he's playing well with the new Barney Darts, which obviously um, Adrian Lewis has tried in the tournament uh, last weekend, and he said he's getting on really well with them. So he's hoping that he could have a great run with those. Um, we've got a guy called Michael Flatley that's just said that he thinks he's going to be in the top 16 after the Worlds. We've got somebody called Steve Spear that said he needs to have a really good run at the Worlds or he will drop out of the top 16. He's one of the most naturally gifted dance players in the world, but he's not consistent enough. We all know what he's capable of and he needs to show it. And um, We've got another one here from somebody called Tony Good who said... In the top 16, going to be back in the Premier League and back challenging MVG. So, you know, the, the tweets that I've had back so far are really positive. Um, are, but, you know, what do you guys think if you take everything into consideration, not just his performance, but everything on, on the whole of where where will he be? Should he be in the Premier League? Um, and what does the future hold for Adrian Lewis? Is he going to get back to where he was in 2012, 13, 14 and play the darts and be competing at the, at the top level? Is there too many youngsters coming through so it's getting more difficult for the people like him, James Wade, maybe even Chizzy Chisnell and some of them that have been on the circuit that are out there that have got no fear and want to overtake, overtake these guys. So leave your comments below um, and... Give me your feedback and, and let's see where you think that, that Adrian Lewis is going to be. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, but just be respectful in this video and think more of what's off the dartboard as well as we go forward. But as always, it's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that Adrian Lewis is going to get back to himself, hitting nine darts for fun, competing with the world's best in the top eight. Whether he'll be in the Premier League for me, I'm not sure. Regardless of what's going on, I don't know that he's going to be um, picked personally this year. I think there will be others before him. But a massive fan of his. And he shares a birthday with me, the 21st of Jan. So he's got to be a cool guy, sharing the, sharing the same day as a birthday. So just having a bit of fun there. Uh, by all means, go across to danceplanet.tv. Got loads of videos coming as always. Got loads coming up for the World's Championships. And I will see you guys next time. Look forward to your comments below. Bye.